hi foodies welcome to my youtube channel my name is lisa and today you're cooking with lisa today we're going to be making spicy grilled chicken with oven baked irish potatoes and veggies a very healthy meal indeed so let's get right into it first we're going to season the chicken i have my spices here and it's all in the description on the video and um, I'm just going to mix up all the spices together and give a brief information about them first I'm gonna add my dried parsley so um, parsley is a very good spice that could be used to add flavor and gives a nice smell and scent in meals it's always a very good option when you use that in your meals so I'm adding soya spice because I want that smoky soya flavor incorporated in my chicken. You cannot go wrong with soya spice, especially when you're making grilled. Then I have my chili powder. I'm just going to add a teeny bit of the chili powder because my soya spice has some chili in it also. And um, I have my spicy curry. I'm going to just crush them in my chicken. Moving on, I have my sweet chili sauce. My sweet chili sauce has garlic incorporated with it. Trust me, it is sweet, but it is also very spicy. So I'm going to add a little bit of that because I love garlic. It makes your food taste super awesome. Trust me, you should try that. Then I'm going to add some soy sauce. Today I'm choosing to use my dark soy sauce. Because it's dark soy sauce, it has the ability to stain food. It changes the color of food. So be sure to add a very little amount so you don't turn your food dark. Then I'm going to add some thyme. Some people may decide to add rosemary, but I prefer thyme because it has a less harsh taste and smell. I'm going to add some salt to taste because I'm not boiling this I just need a teeny pinch of salt in this that should be enough yes and then some seasoning cubes yes just two of those um, I have just six cutlets of chicken in this so two cubes is just perfect yeah then I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic Paste. So this is natural ginger and garlic which I have made together into a paste. So now this is all mixed up together and I'm going to add that to my baking sheet and I'm going to scoop that in the oven for a bit just after I wash my hands. Yeah. So this is going in the oven to cook for a bit. 15 minutes at 260 degrees yes now I have my cut Irish potatoes is being washed because I'm baking it with the skin I had to make sure that the potatoes are properly washed and cleaned I used some vinegar and salt to clean it and I have my washing sponge which I used in making sure it's properly cleaned up I'm just gonna add some chili powder to that yes because I need it to be spicy and crunchy not too spicy and then my go with my hot spicy curry again this is my go-to spice you're going to be seeing this in a lot of my videos it is awesome trust me now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of dark soy sauce yes just a teeny bit and my stock cubes again some ginger and garlic paste you can never go wrong with ginger and garlic it's healthy it's antibacterial it's um it's an antibiotic and it's very good for every dish it makes it taste and smell even better now i'm going in with my soya bean oil because i need healthy oil it's less fatty lower cholesterol i'm going to put a little bit of that so my food doesn't look dried up and i'm just going to 
beat that just how you beat your plantain before you make them yes looks good already mm -hmm. yeah now i have my chicken out look it's looking almost cooked and it looks so good i'm gonna scoop some of that seasoned potatoes already in the baking sheet you want that chicken flavor and oil to simmer into it it's gonna add more flavor to that so i'm gonna scoop enough to feed all my people that are waiting to eat this meal trust me i know they cannot wait to taste this meal i'm gonna scoop that back in the oven for a bit i'm just gonna put that in for another 15 minutes but on a higher heat about 300 degrees this time So now I'm gonna prep my veggies. I have my green bell peppers. I'm gonna cut that into huge chunks. And I also have my carrots, my tomatoes, onions, and all that, my yellow bell peppers. So all I'm going to do is just chop this all together and make sure that they are all seasoned and ready to be scooped in the oven. This goes in last because as we all know, it's always better to get the nutrients from your veggies when they are pre-cooked you don't need them fully cooked because you need to derive those healthy nourishing ingredients from them oops sorry now these tomatoes are so healthy and so yummy it they taste so sweet and nice so yummy mm -hmm. yeah just gonna dice that up I love huge chunks of veggies when I'm eating a meal like this because I like to scoop all my veggies. Mm -hmm. Then my onions, I'm just going to cut that into six cubes and I'm going to remove them from their layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, then I'm going to put them all together back into the sauce that I used in marinating the potatoes. I don't need to add anything, just to add, add some flavor to that, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix that up together and allow that to cook for a bit. So now I have my sweet and smoky barbecue sauce and I have a different barbecue sauce that I got today. I just opened this and it tastes really nice. I'm gonna add my red chili sauce and I'm gonna add some suya spice this i'm going to make as a paste that i used to brush over my chicken and my potatoes just to make it look more sumptuous and nice to taste mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna brush that onto my chicken as you can see my chicken is already almost ready cooked it's almost fully cooked and um, i just need to brush that off Look at that, that looks so gorgeous. I'm gonna scoop that back in the oven right after I add my veggies. So this is the last phase of this. I'm just gonna add my veggies in there. I just need the flavor and the sauce to simmer into my dish. So this is gonna cook for about five minutes, not so much on high heat. Yes, avocado oil spray. You never forget to spray your meal but use a healthy oil. Avocado, like we all know, is very healthy. Scoop that in. Yummy, this looks so good and it smells so, so good. I'm just gonna do my final dab on that. This looks so good, I cannot wait to eat. I'm so hungry, I'm so, so hungry. Yes, I know. This is a healthy dish that you can try out. It's a quick dish and it doesn't need to be cooked. All you have to do is prep your ingredients. You can do that on a week night or weekend 
and you can just store in portions and put in your fridge just microwave it and have it for dinner lunch breakfast however you want it it's an easy to go dish and it's incorporated with all the vitamins and nutrients that you have you don't have to worry about not getting enough vitamins because this has it all and it looks so good too i can't wait to eat yum i wish you could taste this well i'm happy to make this dish and i'll be making so many easy dishes that you can make easy to go you can munch on healthy meals do subscribe to my youtube channel click the like button if you love this video make sure to like it and i will see you in my next video and make sure you try this you will not regret it bye